WHBF is local for you. Now, here is your digital-only look at Quad Cities News. This is Local 4 News Midday, only on OurQuadCities.com. Hi everyone, I'm Alexandria Icamoni. Thanks for joining us for Local 4 News Midday. Right now, one person is in custody after a four-car crash near the Rock Island Arsenal. Take a look at the video from the scene. It happened just a few hours ago, right near the Rock Island Viaduct. That area was blocked off, but no injuries have been reported at this time. We'll let you know more when we get more details. Democratic presidential candidate Tom Steyer stops in Davenport. Steyer was not one of the 10 candidates who faced off in last night's debate in Houston. Instead, the former businessman brought his campaign here. Dozens of people packed a room at the River Center for a town hall focused on labor issues. Steyer talked, about the, talked to the crowd and answered questions about U.S. trade war with China, immigration, and student debt. Two teenagers facing charges after a 14-year-old boy was mugged in Davenport. Police say they stole a car on Spring Street and took the boy's backpack. Anthony Duran says this happened when he was on his way to school, and he says he ran down the street and called police. Officers got the teens after a short chase. My stuff back, to be honest, yeah. What are, what are all things that they uh, take from you? I like my, my like, basketball bag, my shoes in there, and like all my like, school supplies in my Chromebook. When they robbed you, did they have any weapons or did they try to jump you? What, what was they, I mean, they was like, I, they was like balling their fist up. I actually like was about to jump me. Anthony wasn't hurt in the incident. When asked if he felt safe now moving forward, he said, quote, I'm chilling. The historic flood of 2019 affected so many people and businesses, and one business isn't able to bounce back like it hoped. Just a few hours ago, Rome posted on Facebook saying that it'll not be reopening their doors. They're looking at videos showing the exact moment the temporary levy broke right outside the restaurant. Rome was only open for a little more than four months. In the post, the owner says after months of trying to recover, the flooding has cost them too much to return. Many of their employees have also relocated to other restaurants. Parents in Makokota got a concerning letter from the school district warning about mumps. The letter confirms one case of the mumps at Cardinal Elementary School. The school calls for anyone with symptoms to stay home and see a doctor. There's a bigger concern for kids who haven't been vaccinated or who have compromised immune systems. The growing trend of tiny living is making its way to the Quad Cities, and it could bring some big changes to Davenport's West End. The local nonprofit 180 is getting ready to build tiny homes around its campus. The group helps people struggling with poverty or addiction. The founder wants to build a home for program graduates, and Local Force Grace Runkle reports these homes could help the entire community, and that's underneath the news tab on our website, ourquadcities.com. And if you see news happening, forward it to Local 4. Just download the Our Quad Cities app. It's available on Android and Apple devices, and it's free. You can get breaking news notifications and also share stories you want to see highlight highlighted here on Local 4. And finally, a cooler day for our area. Ash will tell you all about our Friday forecast in your local pinpoint forecast when we come back. WHBF is local for you with Alexandria Icamoni meteorologist Ash Simpson. This is Local 4 News Midday on OurQuadCities.com. We are the believers, we are the hope keepers, living to make a difference. And there's nowhere like this, no, there's nowhere like this in the love. Love and live in the love. And now, meteorologist Ash Simpson with your local pinpoint forecast. Well, it's feeling much better today than yesterday already. We've had that cooler air building in ever since the morning, and now as we get into the afternoon, only the mid-70s today. We do start to warm back up this weekend. In fact, we get all the way to the mid-80s for a chunk of next week. But uh, for today and tomorrow, low humidity both days should feel really good, plus just a few spotty showers there Saturday night going into Sunday. Otherwise, this cold front passing through is making things feel very, very good. It's 55 in Sioux Falls. That's what's on the way for us by tomorrow morning, that really, really cool air settling in very nice here today, keeping it from getting too warm. We've got a lot of sunshine, but that north wind, north to west wind blowing at about 25 miles per hour, 
It's keeping it from warming up too much, and we're going to stay dry today. We're going to stay dry tomorrow as well. We'll just start to see more southerly flow by tomorrow that does slowly but surely warm it back up. Now, as we start to get into Saturday night, there are a few spotty showers on the way. Things eventually warm up a lot after that, so enjoy today while you can. 74 outside, winds gusting at about 25 miles per hour, 55 tonight close to average, and then we're back up to 85 by Sunday. We stay dry for the majority of next week, but we do have a chance for rain eventually by next Thursday. Thanks, Ash, and thank you for joining us for Local 4 News Midday. Your local news, weather, and sports are available 24 hours a day right here at OurCloudCities.com, and be sure to join us for Local 4 News starting at 4. See you then. If you see news happen or have a story idea, remember to forward it to 4. You can send your photos, videos, or ideas to us on the Our Quad Cities app or on the Local 4 News Facebook page. See breaking news 24-7 on OurQuadCities.com. Have you watched Local 4 News lately? People in Davenport took cover when they heard gunshots this afternoon. Local 4 News was first on the scene. First on the scene. First on the scene. With more local stories than anyone else. Live in Davenport. In Rock Island. In the newsroom, Grace Runkle, Local 4 News. Breaking news. We were there when they took the suspected drug dealer down. It's a Local 4 News exclusive. And the fastest growing source of online news coverage. On air, but online. Isn't it time you made Local 4 News local for you?